When we talk about the best ammo for keeping yourself safe, we really look at what matters most in those tense moments. We want bullets that can stop a threat fast, are easy to handle without too much kick, won't run out too quickly, and aren't complicated to use when every second counts. Mostly, we're looking at the kinds of bullets you'd use in handguns because that's what a lot of people pick for personal protection. But it's also good to remember that some types of rifle and shotgun ammo can be super helpful for protecting your home too. The 22 long rifle caliber finds its place in the C tier within a self-defense ammunition tier list. Introduced in 1887, the 22LR was designed as a small ball rim fire cartridge, gaining immense popularity due to its minimal recoil, low cost, and versatility. It quickly became a favorite for recreational shooting, hunting small game, and basic marksmanship training. Despite its widespread use and historical significance, the 22LR is considered less ideal for self defense compared to higher caliber options. This is primarily due to its relatively low stopping power and muzzle energy, which typically ranges from 100 to 150 foot-pounds. While these characteristics make the 22 LR easy to shoot with excellent recoil management, allowing for accurate follow-up shots, they also limit its effectiveness in stopping an immediate threat, a crucial aspect of self-defense. The effective range of a 22 LR for target shooting can extend up to 150 meters, but for self-defense purposes, its reliable effectiveness is considerably shorter. Its light recoil and high accuracy are commendable, but when it comes to the need for stopping an aggressor quickly and effectively, the 22 lr lacks the immediate impact provided by higher caliber rounds. In summary, the 22 lrs position in the C tier acknowledges its advantages for new shooters, training, and sport, but also recognizes its limitations in a self-defense scenario. Its inclusion reflects a balance between its practical attributes and the critical need for more stopping power in personal protection situations. The 9mm Luger, also known as the 9x19mm Parabellum, secures its place in the S tier among self-defense calibers due to its exceptional balance of stopping power, manageable recoil, high magazine capacity, and widespread availability. This combination makes it the most popular choice for both civilian self-defense and law enforcement agencies worldwide. The history of the 9mm Luger caliber begins with its creation by Austrian firearms designer George Luger in 1902. It was introduced as the service cartridge of the German Navy in 1904 and the German Army in 1908, marking the start of its long and storied history. The caliber was designed to improve upon the earlier 7.65 by 21mm parabellum round, offering greater stopping power and a high capacity, factors that have contributed to its lasting popularity. The 9mm Luger began to gain widespread acceptance and popularity not long after its introduction, especially following its adoption by various military forces during World War I and II. It's used by NATO forces and numerous police agencies across the globe in the years following World War II, cemented its reputation and led to its standardization. In terms of performance, the 9mm Luger's effective range is typically considered to be up to 50 meters, though its accuracy and lethality can extend beyond that in skilled hands. Its stopping power is robust enough for self-defense situations without being excessive contributing to its high rank for personal protection. The typical muzzle energy of a 9mm round ranges from 350 to 450 foot-pounds, depending on the bullet weight and powder charge. This provides a good balance of power and controllability, allowing shooters to manage recoil effectively, facilitating quicker follow-up shots when necessary. The 9mm Luger's combination of effective range, stopping power, and recoil management alongside its compatibility with compact and full-sized handguns ensures its position as the premier choice for self-defense among a wide array of shooters. The 45 ACP and the 357 Magnum are two calibers that earn their A-tier status for self-defense due to their impressive stopping power and historical significance, despite differing in their characteristics and origins. 
the 45 ACP was developed by John Browning in 1904 and adopted by the US Army in 1911, alongside the iconic M1911 pistol. This caliber was a response to the need for a more potent handgun cartridge following the US military's experiences in the Philippine-American War. Its design aimed to provide reliable stopping power in close combat situations, a requirement it met exceptionally well. The 45 ACP's popularity surged with its military use and it has maintained a strong following among civilian shooters and law enforcement for over a century. Its effective range is generally around 25 to 50 meters, suitable for most self-defense scenarios. The caliber is known for its substantial stopping power attributed to the large, heavy bullets it fires, which can deliver between 350 and 500 foot-pounds of energy. This power comes with a trade-off in higher recoil and a lower magazine capacity than smaller calibers, but its fans appreciate the 45 ACP for its ability to stop threats decisively. The 357 Magnum was introduced in 1934 by Smith & Wesson, developed from the earlier 38 Special. It was designed to offer law enforcement officers a cartridge capable of penetrating car doors and early ballistic vests. The 357 Magnum quickly gained a reputation for effectiveness in self-defense and as a hunting round, its popularity cemented by notable law enforcement and civilian use. Effective up to 100 meters, the 357 Magnum offers versatility beyond typical self-defense ranges. Its stopping power is significant, with muzzle energy ranging from 540 to 780 foot-pounds, depending on the load. This power advantage does come with sharper recoil, which can be challenging for some shooters. However, its performance and the versatility of being able to fire the less powerful 38 special rounds for practice or reduce recoil make it a preferred choice for those who can handle it. Both the 45 ACP and the 357 Magnum stands out for their historical significance, stopping power, and distinctive characteristics. The 45 ACP's large diameter, slow moving bullet, and the 357 Magnum's high velocity, deep penetrating rounds offer different approaches to self defense, with each having carved out its niche in the firearms community. The 38 Special Caliber occupies a solid B tier position for self defense due to its optimal blend of user friendliness and efficacy, especially suited for those who prioritize manageability and comfort. Introduced in 1898 by Smith & Wesson, the 38 Special was designed as an improvement over the 38 Long Colt, seeking to offer better ballistic performance and stopping power suitable for both law enforcement and civilian use. It gained widespread popularity by the early 20th century, particularly among police departments and the FBI, before more powerful cartridges began to eclipse it. With an effective range typically around 50 to 100 meters, the 38 Special is more than capable of the close quarters nature of most self-defense situations. Its stopping power is moderate, allowing for effective use without the excessive recoil associated with more powerful cartridges, making it particularly appealing for new shooters or those sensitive to recoil. Muzzle energy varies widely with load, but generally falls between 200 to 300 foot-pounds offering a balance that contributes to its manageable recoil. The 38 Special's versatility is also highlighted by its compatibility with revolvers chambered for 357 Magnum, offering users a range of power options. The 10mm Auto earns its place in the B tier by offering a significant step up in power from more common self-defense calibers, at the cost of increased recoil and potentially lower capacity. Developed in the early 1980s, the 10mm Auto was created to provide the FBI with a high-velocity, powerful cartridge capable of more reliable penetration and stopping potential. It started to gain traction among law enforcement and civilian shooters alike, appreciated for its superior ballistics compared to the 9mm and the 45 ACP. The 10mm Auto's effective range extends beyond 100 meters showcasing its capability in a variety of scenarios beyond typical self-defense distances. It boasts considerable stopping power, with muzzle energy rating commonly ranging from 550 to 750 foot-pounds, depending on the load. 
This impressive performance comes with noticeably more recoil, which can be challenging for less experienced shooters or those with smaller frames. However, for those who can master its kick, the 10mm Auto offers a potent combination of power and range, making it a respected choice among those who prioritize performance. Both the 38 Special and the 10mm Auto sits comfortably in the B tier, each for reasons that reflect the balance between power, practicality and user comfort. The 38 Special's widespread acceptance is rooted in its ease of use and effectiveness within its intended range, while the 10mm Auto's appeal lies in its superior power and versatility for those prepared to handle it. The 40 Smith & Wesson caliber often finds itself in a unique position in discussions about self-defense ammunition tier lists. Developed in the late 1980s as a collaboration between Smith & Wesson and Winchester, the 40 SNW was designed to offer law enforcement a more powerful alternative to the 9mm while retaining more capacity than the 45 ACP. Its introduction aimed to combine the best features of these two calibers, sufficient stopping power with manageable recoil and higher magazine capacity. Given its balanced characteristics, the 40 SNW would generally be placed in the B tier for self-defense. This placement reflects its compromise between power and capacity, offering more stopping power than the 9mm without the heavy recoil of the 45 ACP. The caliber became incredibly popular among law enforcement agencies across the United States in the 1990s and 2000s. However, its popularity has waned slightly in recent years as advancements in bullet technology have improved the performance of 9mm ammunition, leading many agencies and civilian shooters to shift back to the 9mm for its increased capacity and reduced recoil. The effective range of the 40 SNW is comparable to that of the 9mm and the 45 ACP, making it effective for self-defense scenarios, typically within 25 to 50 meters. Its stopping power is robust, with muzzle energy generally between 350 to 500 foot-pounds depending on the load. While its recoil is more pronounced than the 9mm, it is generally considered more manageable than that of the 45 ACP making it a viable option for shooters who can handle the additional kick. In summary, the 40 SNW finds a middle ground offering a blend of the high capacity of the 9mm and the stopping power closer to the 45 ACP. Its B tier ranking acknowledges its solid performance in self-defense situations, balanced by considerations of recoil and the shifting preferences of shooters towards other calibers that offer similar advantages with fewer trade-offs.